won by Drummond and Lakshman Sivu Ramakrishna. And he starts with a wave. Masar Rauf, the umpire from Pakistan, having to do something immediately. In fact, he had to do something even before a ball was bowled. He and uh, the local umpire, Steve Bucknell, have had to decide as to when the match would start. And it's a 45 over the end. So, Patan will try and get it on target now. Bang the way, bad delivery, and that's going to go for four. Well, you really can't afford to go one of the scale. Or for most left-handers, short, wide, still up there to be hit, and was. Hasn't been a great start for Irfan Patan. Three wides and shot and wide. This one giving the batsman enough opportunity to free his arms. The pitch here looks extremely good. True nature of the bounce, staying right on top of it. Chris Gale. And that's a fine shot. Lovely arm drive by Morton. That's an expensive over to start off with. It's a no ball as well. So it's a horrid first over for Patan. 14 have already come from it. Three wides, now two no balls and a couple of boundaries. And both the opening batsmen, Gale and Morton, getting off with boundaries. And very good boundaries indeed. Concern for Craig Chappell. No ball. Morton just fishing at it. Maybe an encouragement here for Dravid to bring in the third slip, which he did at the opposite end. Starting with two slips as he did with Pathan. I think he was deceived by the length. It's marginally short. He gets on to the front foot. Most batsmen would have preferred to play off the back foot. Very close indeed. <laughs> well, there's that swing. Gale played it pretty well in the end. Very good delivery. Swing and the combination of line and length. Very good seam. The length had the batsman in two minds, whether to go forward or back. <laughs> and he starts with a maiden after that horrid first over. So Patan coming back well, 16 without loss. <laughs> and uh, we've had a delayed start, but certainly the expectations were that we would have had no cricket here at all today and yet the match only reduced by five overs and innings 45 overs feeling restriction after 10 overs that's normal well, the west end is having been sent in Raul Dravid won the toss here's uh, Patan now to Morton <coughs> Morton flicks it through mid-wicket now does it have the legs on it to make it all the way not quite Come back for a comfortable three. Looking at the way Morton's batted in this inning so far, in the five overs, he looks to be a predominantly front foot player. He likes to get onto the front foot and hit through the line. And Gale drags it. Such a strong bottom handed player. Drags it, makes good use of the bottom hand. And that's pulled away short now, and Gale is just hammering it through the wicket. This is a real Chris Gale. 30 without loss, he got the over. Touch barricades in that, why not? Uses the depth of the breeze to good effect. Hasn't had a good start at all while Chris Gale is enjoying himself at the middle. That's a deliberate shot. And that's a well played shot indeed. It's gone for four. Well, they're really breezing along here. Well, more than breezing, it's Gale. 
38 without loss. He's scoring there the boundaries. Fourth boundary in his 19. And this is very deliberate. Just a little bit of width provided by the bowler. But he played it very late. That's why he's able to play it fine to the right of the field at third man. Gale again, swing in the back, and it's going to be touch and go, and it's good. It's another boundary with the scale. So Gale on the go, the West Indies have raced on to 42 without loss from just six overs. Rudra Patap Singh, known as Arfi. Very similar to Patan, Rudra Patan Singh. Swings the ball into the right-handers. No margin for error on this pitch. He's got to start well. Then good position, the seam, the length is good. But it's all about consistency. But he stands up straight now and punches square on the offside. And satisfied with a couple. Well, they're providing them with scoring opportunities, the Indian bowlers. Yet the batsman has so much of time to wait for the ball to come on to him. That is innovative. And that might almost say typically Chris Gale. Sent in, he's just blasted over the top of the umpire. It's just no feet, so strong. And a couple of bounces. That's the, that's the way one day cricket's played these days, and they're not worried about the swing at all, are they? They've, they've backed themselves. They've, it's that type of pitch. I think you've just got to go hard at it. Sometimes you miss, but a bit of bounce, but I, I think they played really well. August Indies. good running because when Chris Gale strikes the ball as frequently as he has been doing today immediately within the restrictive period the fielders move back towards the end or the edge of the circle and it allows the opportunity for soft hands and singles to bump the spot after the boundaries just short Just lost his balance completely. Oh, let's have a look there. He almost tried to play across the line of it, almost the front edge, and just got a bad bounce there, Muhammad K. It almost looked like he tried to whip that and threw me wicket in the last minute straight. Line. an inch and a half longer. The bats aren't allowed to be any more than 38 inches in the length there. That's, that's the law. Comes into a short point. Well, that's a poor shot. Try and describe this shot to me, Biff, because I'm struggling. Of course, it must be said it's not the intended that.
through. And even though this outfield is heavy, we will run very close to the boundary. Come back to three. Bob Buckner will want to get another look for the television umpire. Just for a split second, I thought we were about to have a drowning there because the Indian fieldsman almost fell into the biggest puddle you could ever see. It's a lovely hook shot. Now, did it touch? Well, that's good enough for me. That's four. His foot's on the rope. And then, it, and then he followed through there, I think it's Ajit Agarka. He somehow saved himself from being drowned in the biggest puddle there of all time. Yeah, Chris Gale will be overjoyed. It's fun to four. So an expensive no ball, expensive extra delivery. Ten overs gone, 74 without loss. innings as he has been throughout the series he's gone for 23 it's 87 for one 87 for one Ramaresh Sawan coming in at number three for the West Indies British average strike rate pushing up to 80 fluent player particularly of the slower bowlers Going lazily at the ball, getting a thickish outside edge. A little bit lucky. Really had to reach for that, this year, and a beautiful piece of feeling from Yuvraj. Gone. Given on a sweep stroke, couldn't get the ball away. Three shots. Just tried to move it round the corner, just on the offside, then went a save the big sweep. A classic case of building up pressure. Abidjan tying Sawan down and finally gets him to play across the line. And that's pretty adjacent. That was a good feeling. He wasn't clearing his throat then. Sawan never got started, he's gone for two, it's 94 for two. Yes, there is. Well, going nicely here in this over. A 
just as we were talking about the economy of Agarka and Abidjan. Eight runs out of the over so far. And the West Indian 100 is up. And Boundary taking them to 102. Gets off the mark, Brian Lara. One more session of power play available to Royal Dravid. Shortened one of four, but it is a 45 over match because of the overnight and early morning rain. And sometimes that sort of early morning rain can raise the humidity. It'll be a warm day in the crowd. Strike rate of 70. Man of the series against the Zimbabweans and average in the high 50s. He's in form. And I don't care whether you make runs against Zimbabwe or, or the girls next door. Form counts. And he's certainly is in the nice little purple patch himself. So they need him to give as much strike as he can to go. One of the strengths that he has, Chandler Paul is that he will manipulate the ball around the field. Right, he missed out in the first game against Zimbabwe, but then 46, 93, 51, 45, he got into a bit of a patch. He batted at five, he batted at uh, four, and he also opened in the last match at the Port of Spain ground. Spain! Oh, that's a good delivery. I've told you about this lad off here, haven't I, that there's something about him, particularly once he warms up and he's into his fifth ball he's got a wicket already and he can reverse swing it and he 
literally won a test match for India. Mahali against England. Look at the bounce and kick there. That's well left A, and the B, good pace and good heat, good bounce. Very good in that area as well, just guiding the ball down. It's been a, a really well judged, well organized innings from Gale. And that's cut away. You'll just get uh, the one down the third man. You'll try for the second, yes. Having to hurry. And now, Robert Dooney took the ball before it hit the stumps. I think he just dropped it. I'm not sure the ball hit the Direct, but whatever the situation is, Eli's return was a pretty good one. Uh, so two runs always on. Seems to have been a direct hit. But Chris Gale well into the home. Just missed. Driving too hard to mid off and trying to ball backing up would have been touch and go had the return hit from mid off. Always a chance of this happening when you're batting with Shibnar and Chandra Paul. It's become quite famous where it comes when it comes to run outs. 99 for run for Chris Gale and the crowd here at uh, Sabina Park is home. He is Jamaican in anticipation of uh, 100 from Chris Gale. He's got three already in one day internationals against India. Chris Gale, there in the chief executive officer of uh, World Cup cricket. The over at 187-3. This is his home city here of Kingston. No temptation that uh, will get Gale fishing at them, something outside the off stump when he was 99. Jamaican flag flying there. Plays for the famous Lucas Club here in Jamaica. Home club of uh, the first and probably the most famous of all Jamaicans. George Hedley, the great George Hedley. Atlas carried the West Indies on his shoulders in the 1930s. Doesn't want to give him an easy single, easy scoring opportunity. Keep the pressure on. Very good stuff here from Patel. He's got the reins here on uh, Gale. Uh, it's a matter of patience. He's come back well, Munaf Patel. Came in for some stick this morning. And he dispelled his board with a lot more control. Good variation, and he's kept the ball right in front of, the, of Chris Gale. Well, it wasn't certain, but he got it. It's his 12th in one game for Nationals, and it carries him past two famous West Indian batsmen, Vic Richards and Gordon Greenwich, both with 11, as he was before, but inside edge carried him to his 12th one day international 100, his fourth against India. He's been the backbone of the West Indies in him so far. One of the three.
edge and fast enough to reach the boundary. A welcome boundary for the West Indies who move on to 192 for three. With just nine overs remaining in the innings. doing now. straight and as full as possible. Your dad played at uh, Kingston for years. You get back much now to the club? Yes, I do every now and then. Um, but most of, this, of my plays in the pavilion now. Don't get out on the field much. What part of the pavilion, primarily speaking? Downstairs. <laughs> Would have anything, let's place it more accurately, like near the bar, for instance? Pretty close. That'll be four. Inside edge. Gill just swinging the back now. He's played magnificently up to 100 and up 
to 100 mate with those two, 110 I should say, with that six and that four in succession. And when the luck is with you, it's with you. That ball must have passed inches from the leg stump. Fielders on the boundary. So just a single. West Indies at the top of the order here with their most experienced players. Gale, Sawan, Lara, Chandapal. Then a little bit of uh, come down as far as experience is concerned to come. Marlon Samuels, Dwayne Bravo, Carlton Bow. run not that they would have got the second necessarily but pressure on the fielders and there were three of them converging on the ball no urgency in the West Indies running and therefore no need for urgency in the fielders either He was going for five more than one, I can tell you. 220 for three at the end of the over. innings quite nicely got off to a brilliant start getting a lot of runs at boundaries Chris Gale but then as he progressed to the innings it was hot and humid got tired and worked his ways the ones stews great temperament great fitness Jitagaka, 2.22 for four.
look to get to 260 the best it is be hard work for India in the afternoon they have a good batting lineup batting conditions very good here it's Bana Park Singh Dhoni can be quite handy with the bat. Big innings from him will do the trick. Also, the Indians in the recent past have the rotation policy in batting order. I'm sure Virendra Seva will be opening the batting. It's long overdue for runs in uh, one-day cricket. Yuvraj Singh is uh, in prime form. Rahul Dravid will be opening along with Virendra Sehwag. It will be a suppressed packet, Mahindra Singh Dhoni, number number three. Very humid, and you can hear Mahindra Singh Dhoni through the Sums Effect microphone just bellowing to his feet. Let's come on, let's keep it going until the end. This will be Habajan Singh's final delivery if it's a legal one. They have an impressive spell of bowling today. Shan completes his bowling for the win. Nine overs for 33 runs and one wicket. 41 overs gone. 2-2-6 two, two, for four. After all the inclement weather early this morning and heavy rains overnight. Blue sky for the most part. Oh, very good feeling. Just a little bit of a slide and a slip initially. Rainer. Good cricket all around. Good improvisation by the left-handed batsman. Turned the ball. And look at this for commitment. He knew had the ball passed him, it would have raced to the fence. Well, I think he enjoyed it as well. Wonderful bowling. Getting those Yorkers in quite consistently at the end of the innings into mixing them with slow deliveries is no easy task he does get a little bit of reverse swing when conditions suit Ajita Dhaka very slippery very quick arm when he's in good rhythm he can be a very useful bowler right out front with the new ball. Down. Even with that, with the older ball, Ajit Agarkar. His overall economy rate in one day internationals is about five. But he's got the ability to pick up wickets. He's going at a good rate here. And far the pick of the bowlers, Hanbidan Singh and Ajit Agarkar. The latter spell from Munaf Patel and it's very good in his last four overs, 15 runs and one wicket. But it's up to someone like Pathan who I think has to bowl a couple of overs towards the end of the innings. He's been expensive. Agaka will settle for five off the over. Five singles. 42 overs gone, 231 for four. Discipline with the new ball, too many wides and no balls. In fact, uh, 26 extras in this innings. Aim 
tries and five more balls for India. Again, the slow delivery, the cutter coming into play from Patan. Gets it in the right areas as well. trying to mix the slow with deliveries the last one not coming out all right he needs to look for those yorkers as well nine wides and five low boys that's more than two overs extra and also the 14 runs he's bought two low balls and five wides per turn taken it that is an outstanding catch for in the sea line. Can the ball start? It was dipping. Sea line did well. That really was a classic. There's the sea line was right on the boundary line. And again, this low delivery in the right areas. Shifter and the ball looking to clear the fence and look at that for a catch. We went to save off the man taking it. He's been quite outstanding. Last couple of overs in there have done well. Carlton Ball is a new batsman. He can cut the batsman and generally it's because of his strike rate, his potential strike rate. He can strike the ball fiercely, he can rotate the strike, pick up singles. An exciting little player, dynamic. The easiest catch to take, and the Rinder Sebag is not the quickest female in the Indian team. It was hit flat. There's a good crowd behind. Didn't get the elevation. It's difficult for the fielder to sight the ball and look at the timing of the dive. The zoom will give you a fantastic picture. One of the best Rinder Sebag is taken. He knows it as well. Concentration well. It's also a clever piece of bowling from the time because it was slow delivery that Chanda Paul succumbed to. Took the pace off it again, just be one. 43 overs gone. It's 235 for five. Got off to a flyer, West of the East, mainly through the efforts of Chris Gale. Getting a superb 100, Chris Gale. Then losing wickets in the middle. And then slowing things down. And towards the end, as you'd expect West of the East to get a lot of quick runs in the end overs. They're losing wickets and Indians are maintaining a good control. Now the two overs remaining, it's a 45 over game, delayed start. First of these, the current rate will get to 246. The Ajitao will continue. So eight overs, two for 33 for Ajitao Vipri. Singles going. They like to cut off the boundaries. They need to get six and over. 246 is what we're looking at. And I'm sure the Indians will be quite happy with that kind of a score.
course, uh, a lot of the local supporters, a lot of the Jamaicans, uh, and the enthused of the fact that both Batman and the Priest are local players in the sense they arrive from Jamaica. So there's a ball. This is good control of the situation from Ajit Agarka here. He's bowling straight, even if he errs, it's a full toss. And he at least is controlling the direction of the hit. Any youngster watching this, and he's bowling towards the end, exactly the areas to bowl. Keep it straight, keep it full, and you won't go for too many runs. And the field is also set for that. at this stage of the innings someone like a green smith who's not playing this match can come in and accelerate straight away that's the nature of his game but some batsmen take a little bit of a longer time to to really find some momentum the ability to innovate at this stage is crucial from a batting point of view In the deep, you not normally see Mohamed Kaif field in the deep. But this is what Rahul Dravid has done. He has his best fielders in the right areas. He wants to cut out those twos, those boundaries. Chitagaka coming towards the end of his spell. An important one, his captain will be relatively pleased with his outing so far. Just a single. He'll settle for five singles off the over. 44 overs gone to 40 for five. The last over coming up. Irfan Patan will bowl the last over. It's hit it. And it's dead hit. It's gone all the way. Maximum. So easy. Just marginally short of a leg. Just waited for it. Got the sweetest spot off the bat. It's a big part of the ground. Things can make a major difference to somebody like Ryan De Seva. A stunning catch and a brilliant run out. Which is motivated, feel that extra bit of pep and confidence when he comes out to bat. 250 comes up 
for the West Indies. And it's a 45 over match. If you've just joined us because of soaked out for you. the start of the heavy rains overnight this morning. First 50 was very quick. Just 51 deliveries. 50 number five or 50. Final delivery. from Bavad, but not out, says the umpire, leg by, just signalled, and it not signals, that is at the end of the West Indian innings, 251 for six, after 45 overs. Well, you could say that India were pretty good in the second half of the innings. They just allowed West Indies to add 64 runs in the last 10 overs. And you can say 250s consisted right through that spell of uh, his bowling in that innings. Virat Sehwag, a couple of overs of offspin. So a bowling performance that uh, lacked discipline at the start. In fact, as many as 14 extras conceded through wides and no balls. But in the end, 251 for six is uh, a score that India will be contend uh, with. Uh, time for a short break. Uh, when we come back, we'll have the start of the Indian. but a, a wasted ball. Now, why didn't you say that to all the West Indian bowlers when you were wicket-keeping too, when they bowl bounces to us? When we come back, we'll have the start of the Indian... but a, a wasted ball. Now, why didn't you say that to all the West Indian bowlers when you were wicket-keeping too, when they bowl bounces to us? Let me pitch them a little further up the track. In the air, and that might go for four. He didn't have control over it, but he did get a bit of shape, but that's the way he plays. Gives the Sehwag room to use those arms and he's going to let the bat go at it. Very powerful square of the wicket. Didn't necessarily get hold of this one as he'd wanted to, but got it wide enough and got enough bat on it to beat third man. The signs that it's going to rain again today. But you never know. Oh, it'll probably rain within an hour. He <laughs> just said that. I can guarantee it won't rain that soon. Cumulus Nimbus. Because that's the area there is the major concern. If it does come, and look pretty clear, that area there. In the air. Oh. What happened there? He just didn't have enough club on it to carry it all the way through to Fidel Edwards. I don't think he picked it up that well either, I don't think, for a second. Didn't seem to get hold of this at all. To hit the back of the bat. Just lob up. This will give us a better idea. Seemed to hit the side pad instead. Didn't, didn't look as if there was any bat involved in that in this angle. Is a chance for a run out here? Oh! A huge mix up in the middle between both these batsmen. They're almost shaking hands and saying, where are we going for dinner tonight? This looked a little bit quite close. Good stop there from Green uh, Gravel. Parried it. And one stump to look at. Just barely missed. for four there again whether or not it was off his gloves or a five it was off the five 
So it's a pretty good over, nevertheless. 12 for no loss. Oh, magnificent. Don't bowl that stuff to me, he says. He kept his eye on this one. That was it with great control. Didn't swat at it, got on top of it, rolled his wrist and hit it down. This is a class hook shot. Textbook. Oh, beautiful shot. But it's just a follow through on a forward defence. This is why he's one of the best batsmen in the world, Raul Javi. That bat comes down so straight. Just timed it, just pushed it. Didn't lift the bat in anger, and there it goes. Some patrons enjoying uh, things just around the periphery of the ground. Very different action here from uh, Jerome Taylor. Seems to get quite nice and high. Oh dear, I thought he'd come too far. Got a bit excited there, folks. Oh, lots of noise on the ground here, plenty of musical instruments. Quick single, bolted in. Say so, uh, doing the running, and Steve Butler is going to go upstairs. No expression from anybody. He's going to be safe here. Uh, yes, it looks as though he's going to be safe. But really, you'd think he'd be starting to ground the bat a bit earlier than the pop increase. Oh, no. Dottrow, the third umpire here. It's the green light. Sailor continues to bat. 30 without loss. Oh, yes, well, it's just coming onto the body, into the favoured area. He doesn't have to run for that one. It's much better for Sebag and the Indian supporters here. Six silvers gone, it's 36 kilometers. Going hard at it, he's going to get a boundary, is it? Oh no, it's gone the whole way. It's like a high diver going in at the deep end. What a shot. Plenty of Indians here come from the United States to watch this match. They enjoy the watches. He's taken the chance into the shot a little too early, getting the toe end of the bat. And it's gone outside the park. Mm. Doesn't go aerial. No need to. And he's much better at scoring at boundaries. Hasn't been running too well, but that should give him a lot of confidence. Desperately needs a big score here in the Sivak, and look at that, everything right about it. The balance was good, the transfer of body weight was extremely good. It's high, it hasn't got the distance, not quite. Samuels is turning and he can't hold on. He twisted and he turned, Marlon Samuels, and now is this out? It looks like it. What a disaster. Just proves that what you miss on the swing, you can pick up on the roundabout pitch. Now it's a total misunderstanding between the two batsmen for him. The will be on his way back to the pavilion, having survived the opportunity of, of a catch. Marlon Samuels at mid-off and the red light is on it's the end of the innings what a comedy of errors well here's where it started tried to go over the top of mid-off misjudged by Marlon Samuels badly misjudged he gets up fires it at the keeper and Sewag is left wanting Disappointed for Ender Sewad goes for 22. It's 56 for one.
26 for one. And the new batsman is Irfan Padam. He's batted up the order on a few occasions. And this should run away. And run pretty close to the boundary ropes. And it's got enough legs on it. It's four. person to bowl a short ball to Rahul Dravid and again on top of that it's this room mid wicket all along the ground safe shot well positioned well balanced inadvertent shot 11 overs gone 62 for one Singh, who's in the form of his life, he averages 69 in his last 20 one day internationals. Career average of just under 35, but his recent form has been very good. 300. He's got it for it. Good timing, won't go too close to the boundary. Moving playing Bravo. Yuvraj's off the mark. The placement should be two. Straight drive, magnificent, typical Dravid stroke. We've seen an off drive, a pure perfection from him earlier off Taylor, and now a straight drive. More aesthetically pleasing strikes in the game, isn't it? It's not shimmy backwards, and then the toe just straight inside there to allow himself to clear the front leg slightly, and then the, the bat coming down, and really it's only a check drive. Edge, no second slip in place, four runs. Well, should there be a second slip for a new batsman? Well, that's the question that Lara has to ponder, isn't it? Uh, went very hard at the ball. Went in the air for just a little way. It was the angle of the delivery that created the problems for him. He was looking to get more bat, obviously. On at the net. He's just struggling to get underway. That's one of the interesting things about a one day game is that the pressure can become visible. Let's see it building on Yuvraj here, see what he does. Cracks it away well, long chase for Bradshaw. Gets around very well, does well Bradshaw. He's not the fastest or the most athletic in the field, but as we've seen, he's very committed. Got around there, let's see if he gets rid of it. I think that's, uh, well... Umpire will have to uh, have a look, although Steve Bucknor seems uh, okay. In the air for the second time, Samuels goes back and has a catch to make and makes it an absolutely fantastic catch by Marlon Samuels. He missed the first one. Oh, see why he clings on to this one. Well, 
we now know the answer how Jukraj was feeling, feeling the pressure. Slightly slower delivery from Ian Bradshaw, who's bowled tightly with control. He looked to go over the top and just got underneath it. It was high, and look at the position there of Samuels, trying to keep himself from turning from the wicket, but finally the back facing the wicket, running away from the pitch. Two hands. Really good catch. Not easy to uh, do that. So Yuvaraj Singh has gone for 12, and it's 86 for three. New batsman is Mohammed Kais. Comes in to replace Yuvaraj. Yuvaraj pinned down. A very clever bowling from Ian Bradshaw, who has made such a difference to the course of this innings. Four on the legs. Bad delivery. Bradshaw, who sets himself high standards, will be very unhappy about that. Not so unhappy about this. Well, this is a, a four. And he would be unhappy with that. And he's got it through. Come for a second. So Kaif gets off the mark of his 11th delivery. Three off the over, 96 for three. In the air and drops. Now it should get two. It was a hard one. The skipper, Brian Lara. That would have been in a good time to get a wicket. Into the over. 22 overs gone. 107 for three. It's a nice shot. They should get two. And they do. And that brings up the 50 there to the skipper. By G, it's been a really good knock. End of the over, 113 for three. Bounce a beautiful shot. That might go away for four. Oh, good piece of it. No, I thought he got it, but it wasn't. Bravo down there. That'll get the confidence flowing for Mohamed Cape. His first boundary. Didn't get it. In the middle of the bat. Got it square enough. Beautiful shot. Looking for two. Could be a run out on. Oh, if it was only straight. If the throw was only straight, he would have been in all sorts of trouble. This could have been a calculated risk. Struck down to long on. Bradshaw had to make ground to his right. And he doesn't have the strongest arm in the world. Javid so probably figuring that he could beat him. Nicely played. There was a bit of turn. Samuels moves quicker through the air and provides the batsman with pace. Will this be referred? Very close to the fence, Ramnish and Ram, the fielder. He's looking at his partner, Steve Buckner, the man at the point, Asadrov. And this will give us a good indication. I think it is clear. Good stop. He's gone over the top and he's made very good contact. And Rahul Dravid realizes he's got to move on. I thought it was a good shot for a couple of reasons, the placement, but I think it might have been a slow ball that was picked by Raul Dravid. Let's look closely. Yeah, slow ball, and he picked it early. He's been in good form for a few years now. Raul Dravid, excellent form. Here's some eyesight. He's been fantastic playing straight down the ground, especially in this innings, Dravid. 28 overs gone, 141 for three. Deep, but Dravid 
has cleared them quite easily. Magnificent shot that. Almost took out one of the spectators. Faithful wants to retain the fielder on. To the North Strikers in, comfortably made in the end by Dravid. It's 157 for three. He's found the fence. The fielder in the deep was unsighted. And it was a poor delivery once again from Arvid Sanders. Drag it halfway down. And Rahul Dravid is in great form. He's not going to miss out on those. Picks the gap so beautifully. He was too wide. He was uh, just giving driving enough room to get a full swing and caress it through that gap. It's in the air, but there is a field underneath it. She's dropping shot. Anyway, Mohamed Kaif should be happy that he didn't make good contact. And he hit it better, he'd have found the field in the deep. It's just such a, a structured innings from Raul Dravid. I don't use the word structured lightly, built a foundation. The runs starting to flow for the Indians now. Pressure will slowly show on the West Indies. This Brian Lara just remonstrating with Marlon Samuels, saying you should be throwing to the bowler's end. It's the closest end. He said he goes the long route. All lessons to be learned. It's a man underneath it, and he has dropped it. That is by far one of the catches in the deep and at what a time he's put it down Edwards Kev has been lucky it's all about pressure that's what I was talking about earlier on in these crucial periods pulling off some sparkling bit of feeling keeping your head under pressure it spent a lot of time he got under it and goes with reverse hands the palms towards the sky This was hit with a lot of power. Look at those wrists roll over. Too full, too full from Fidel Edwards. And there go the hands right through that. Beautiful to watch, Raul Dravid. The differential coming down between these sides. It's uh, a hundred partnership now between Kalf and Dravid. Singles from the Bravo over 195-3. Catch in the air now, just to the right of the man uh, at widest mid-off. Dravid on strike, 98. Nicely played again. 
good technique and being able to get the ball quite fine. The full face of the bat rather than opening the face. Almost, a, but he just plays it later. Just like that. Looking for two, pushing hard. Man off the boundary. No, they'll just uh, be content with the single. 54 from 45. Drive it now, 99. He's a class act, Raul Dravid. Slow ball, and it's going to slide away for a boundary. Precious. Nine runs from the Edwards over. He's completed now nine for 50. And it's 204 for three. Pushing for two. Yes, he's managed to get it just wide of the man at long on. Well, stats like that would definitely favor India pulling it off. And... A, a, a chase of just about a run a ball is a piece of cake in terms of the record that they have. And to add insult to injury. It's certainly been a measure of control about the way India have chased this target, whether they get there or not. They've always given the feeling that they were in control, while Dravid certainly was at the crease. <laughs> Running, and they'll take a single to short final leg. They've never appeared to panic at any point. They've just gone about it very methodically. And I guess with the confidence of knowing how to chase and having a good record chasing, they figured that it was ju it's just a matter of time. Let's wait to see what happens, and things have been happening for them. I think it's impressed me why they have been able to look as if they're not under pressure. They put themselves under pressure. They've hit shots like that. They've got through gaps ball after ball after ball and one wonders whether Brian Lara at some point very in the short future is going to bring somebody up inside the circle and try and create some pressure here in the air is it yes a man underneath it comfortable catch to long on Jerome Taylor the catcher The Indian captain gone. Now, will that be the impetus required by West Indies to change the game? Tried to hit straight, Raul Dravid. Bit too much elevation on it. Jerome Taylor takes the catch. Brilliant innings from Raul Dravid comes to an end. 105. It's 209 for four. Dhoni, Mahindra Singh Dhoni comes to the wicket at the fall of Rahul Dravid, averaging as high, strike rate very high, best 183 knot. Going hard, Dhoni and well clear. And this is what he's known for. He's a big hitter, and that was a big six. Went miles in the air. Didn't seem to get hold of it, but it carried like one of those, those new golf balls. The higher you hit them is the further they go. <laughs> well, it was an attempt at slow ball by Bradshaw, but uh, Dodie just Whip that aside, didn't take any notice of it at all, just kept on hitting through the line. There's nothing slow about how it left the bat.
Going very hard again, gets a thick outside edge. Boundary four, ten and two balls. And that changes the equation significantly. India now need 30 to win from 31 balls. Just a bit much width and opened up the third man point area. He was a little bit late on it, so it went more third man. Fifty for Mohamed Kaif. Has been struggling for form of late. But a classy innings. He's had some luck. But he's gotten to a welcome landmark. Taking a bit of time, 75 balls, just one four in that. You have to realize how hard he's been made to work by the West Indian bowlers. Oh, it's a gift. Dhoni responds under pressure. He's a calm man with a fantastic temperament, Mahindra Singh Dhoni. The intention of Bravo was to look for the block hole ball, the Yorker. But Tony getting his front leg out of the way. That's his speciality. He gets his front leg out of the way, which means he can make good enough contact with the bat. Now, there's a feeler under this. It's held. Renato Morton takes a catch. Just look at the West Indians. They know how big that is. This is turning out to be quite a contest. It's not yet over. Don't go anywhere. Both teams can win this game from here. It is going to the wire. And they've dismissed the danger man, Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Again, keeping as calm as the bowler, stays straight, stays fuller. And Dhoni, the miss it, finds the man in the deep. Much to the relief of the West Indian captain, Ryan Lara. Dhoni has gone for 18, it's 233 for 5. Suresh Raymond. In good form recently in a tense situation dressing rooms holding their breath both of them the game is a balanced on a knife edge bravo and off the mark straight away 18 required from 14 balls Oh, that's run away for four. Bravo can do nothing about that. No Brian Lara, no Carlton Ball. It's inadvertent, but it's welcome for India. He'll have a big smile on his face, Moma Cave. They'd have made it over the last one, but here, going for the big shot, goes at it extremely hard, gets the outside edge. And India needed the boundary very badly. And as a bowler, you've got to feel for this man. That's high. Now there are fielders converging under it. Chandler Paul is calling for it. Lara backed out. And it lands in between both of them. What a miss. He's looking for the big shot. Miscued it. Picks up two runs. It's 2.40 for five. Slicing the ball, got the elevation, not the distance. We believe that person running in has a much better chance of taking the catch. Brian Nara at short cover would have had to run back. And that would have been a more difficult option. But for India's luck, it's fallen right in between. Can't stop it. Momentum now with... The Indians. Are well, they celebrating already? Just a bit of width provided for Suresh Raina. Again, he's got a sound head for somebody who's only 19. Gets the outside edge, picks up a boundary. And in there at the moment, looking good. Eight required. of length eight required from ten deliveries it's 
a much better reply. It's the kind of delivery is if you can bowl consistently, literally be unscorable. But the fact remains, it's one of the most difficult deliveries to bowl, the Yorker. This could be a run out if he hits. He does not, Brian Lara. Spoke about good bits of cricket from the West Indies. Well, it's inconsistent. The number of times they've missed the stumps is quite unbelievable today. Bit of a fumble as well. A little bit of extra time. The panic must have set in. A direct hit would have had him. today could have been dismissed but he's held his nerve so far maybe playing the innings of his life so many youngsters coming in no tendulkar he's got to come good if he wants to keep his place in the one day side mama cave so far five runs needed to win from seven deliveries that has been a very eventful day the way in which it started off i thought we'd be back in the hotel at 11 o'clock for lunch with so much of rains overnight and this morning it's been an outstanding day at the game of cricket here in jamaica It's 248 for five. Good backing up. Very good backing up. And good bowling. Dwayne Smith. There's the man backing up. Certainly would have had some extra runs there. But not to be. Four to win from five balls. Oh, well done. Well done, Dwayne Bravo. And uh, Brian Lara. Four from four required. Where are we heading for? Is anybody's guess. Good delivery under pressure. Fuller and straighter. Again, more with care. Finds the fielder. SP1. Marlon Samuels has a very good arm. Green Bravo landing well behind the pop increase and showing he doesn't bowl or no ball. The fans are, well, literally, you'll be on the edge of your seat right now. Another learning moment and pressure moment for every West Indian player and every Indian fan. Suresh Rana will be on strike. It'll be interesting to see the number of fielders inside the ring that Lara will employ. He's still got only four. He's got the boundary protected. The key here for Rana is to get the ball into the many gaps. It would have been out. Bravo. Could not get to the stumps in time, could he? Well, it was desperation time for Suresh Ryan and India. He knew he'd found the fielder. He had no other option but to run. Oh, that by far would have been the closest miss. If Bravo had caught the ball, I think he would have had enough time if he caught the ball and hit the stumps. And that's what Brian Lowry is saying to him. 
another missed opportunity under pressure even a tie is a possibility now two required from two balls that's game over what an innings from Mohammed Kev after a poor run of form the West Indies have fought hard they looked dead and buried at one stage they came back but Kaev and Dravid and India have been too good when it matters. Wonderful innings from Mohamed Kaev under pressure. 66 of 91 balls, three fours. Brings a lot of joy to the Indian crowd who proudly, who proud India. We've had a great day out of the cricket. And India have won up 1-0 in this five-match series and continue their good form of chasing runs and chasing them well and successfully. That's how the reply stood out. Grin Sibag made a couple of good shots in his 22, was unfortunately run out. But with the captain, once again leading from the front, a match-winning 100 from him, and then Mohamed Kaev, an important innings in his career, one day international career, 66 not out, hitting the winning runs and finishing off in good style.